All right, today is front running only because last time was bagging only. So it only makes sense uh, in order to have a full conversation about bagging to also do some front running. Let's go for the shortcut. Oh, someone else opened it for me. Thank you. Thank you. Give me the items. <laughs> uh, we'll just get rid of this. Get my triple greens out. Be safe. I want to get up to the front. Um, the rule here is like, sure, I'm saying front running, but that kind of implies I'm in first. You can't guarantee that. You can guarantee your bagging, but you cannot guarantee your front running. So I'm just doing what's called running, which is like not at the front necessarily, but I am trying to go forward. And yes, I didn't fall off the sidewalk this time. Okay, I did there, but that was on purpose. All right, got to watch out now. I'm not safe, but let's... Oh, what? That person's in first place? What? Okay, you know what? Let's just use the mushroom. I'm in second now. This is good. This is almost front running. Birdo, you have a red shell. <laughs> okay, that was so close. If I didn't see early enough and had to react to the red shell warning, I would not have blocked it in time because that was almost perfect timing. So yeah, everyone, you have to look backwards. Once you're pretty decent at a track, you got to start looking backwards. Oh, I'm in first place. I have a super horde. Get an orange mini. Nope. 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 They're going to snipe me. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, this is so scary. That could bounce. I hate green shells. My mini map is off. Ugh. Whatever, I have a super horn. No, I messed that up. Oh, that's fine, that's fine. I'm not getting blue shelled, I guess. Turn my mini map back on, see where everyone is. Okay, I have some distance from third. But first place got uh, blue shelled in the, in the glider, so they didn't take as much damage from it. Y you know what, this was horribly raced by me, but it is a new track, so I'll give myself a pass on that. <laughs> I'm just gonna be safe. There's no way I'm getting first place at this point. Oh, the red shells don't make it up to you if they get thrown from below. Okay, I was actually wondering that as soon as I found out about the sidewalk on this track, and I'm glad to know you're a little safer there. This is definitely a front running track. I'm glad to have gotten second place. This 40,000 Birdo, I, I didn't catch their name, BB. Hey, BB. Um, so I should not have gone for the shortcut. Like. I have played that track maybe once online at this point, and I have not like figured out all the things I should be doing, all the decisions I need to make. Because like, yeah, I could have gone for that shortcut. It's not faster. I just wanted to like be in a glider because I like gliders. But uh, given that Birdo was right behind me, there was there was no point, right? Because <laughs> I was just opening the shortcut for them. Even if they didn't have a mushroom, they'd be able to get through thanks to me opening the shortcut. All right. Oh, what? Huh. My mini turbo just disappeared. Okay. Never had that one happen before. Okay, front running only video. I'm pretty much bagging. You know what that means? We're gonna cut out the part where I'm in last place. I'm just gonna use it. I don't want- Yes! <laughs> I didn't want to get shocked over the shortcuts. Okay, okay. I could actually- I don't know if I could win this, but I could do really well. We'll see what spot I'm in after the shortcut. Third, nice, mushroom here. Past the peachette. Oh, first place is way over there. Oh, I messed up. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Still getting second. Oh, wow, this th this Birdo's too good. Am I gonna have a rivalry with BB here? BB intersection? So as we all know, with wave six, Nintendo saw the amount of bagging that we've all done <laughs> and they decided to nerf bagging. But that means indirectly front running has been buffed. So that's what we're gonna try and do today. Lots of front running. And I am going to switch up my combo as well, but I did want to use some high mini turbo with the Diddy Kong. Uh, they're not letting me do it. They're not letting me front run. Why are you throwing your red shell right there? Shouldn't you save it as potentially protection? I don't know. Just just a thought. You might want to try that. But now, now I'm in sixth, and this sucks. But we're going to try and get back up to a top position right here. All right. Get me these coins. I don't have to aim when I have the piranha plant. It just gets coins for me. Okay, that red shell's gone. Nice. We're back up at a top position. And the black birdo's way in the front, of course. People just keep hitting me and giving this birdo a breakaway. It's not fair. I could be in first right now. I was in a tough battle with the, with the birdo at the very start. But I didn't get to have that because other people were mean to me. But now I'm right here. And I have triple green shells. Oh, okay. I'm always so, so like weird with the glider there. I, I, I've never figured out exactly what to do to avoid 
bumping into everything. Oh! Slow down so much. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna try and hit them, but they took the other path. That was smart. This Birdo, BB is actually a very good player. I think I should say- What?! Good throw! Oh, I didn't get an item now. There's no- Was that- BB, was that your green shell or was that the person behind you? There's no way you aimed that at me. That had to have been just a random bounce. Take that. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yes! <laughs> Did that actually hit them? Oh, that was great! Front running is so broken now after wave six. All right, it's a tough battle here. You know what? This Birdo has one more speed than me at no downside to themselves. Because <laughs> Birdo's stats are just better than Diddy Kong's. That's so sad, by the way. Diddy Kong shares female villager stats, which is also sad for female villager. Because she got combined on the character select screen with male villager, but her stats are worse. Oh, I almost got hit. Um, I don't- I don't need to red shell you. Oh, gee, uh. You know, like, I'm gonna be nice and not red shell. See, look, I protected myself. That's great. Yeah, I don't need a red shell first place because there's always the threat of blue shells. But especially if first place has a blue shell dodge item, then I know they're not gonna back out of first when the blue shell shows up, and that's even better for me. So, yeah, th there's a lot of reasons not to to uh, take out first place. Now, that doesn't mean you should try to be in second place, though. Not necessarily. Like, if first place is, is doing better than you, that's fine. But you don't want to do worse to put yourself in second place, because your actual goal is to- oh, I just missed the glider again. Your actual goal is to stay ahead of the rest of the pack. Okay, I, I guess I'm going around here. I don't think I can do the shortcut with that mushroom timing. The glider is switching to here. Yep. I'm holding these. Oh, the blooper almost messed me up. I was almost not going to take the shortcut, but then I saw the blue shell and I was like, if I don't take the shortcut, the blue shell might catch me. So I have to do it even with the blooper. Wow, me and BV top two four races in a row. It's 2-2 two -two now. Tiebreaker race. Am I only winning because of the bagging nerfs? No, <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, the bagging nerfs were not that significant. Now, it does mean bagging is now slightly worse than it was before, but I'm gonna get bumped off. <laughs> but bagging was already worse than front running. So the thing is, you want to know how to bag and front run. You, you, can't, you can't really say bagging is worse than front running. It's not really true because that's not how any, any good player plays. No good player is like, Hey, I'm a bagger only, or I'm a frontrunner only. If you do that, you're probably just not a very good player. Because a very good player understands that knowing how to do both and picking <laughs> the right scenario for each makes you a better player. I should not be talking about being a good player right at this moment. Okay, we're gonna just keep going around for coins, but I'm not gonna stop, right? Because I'm not, I'm not bagging. I'm not bagging. I'm just, I'm just going for coins. Just trying to increase my speed to help me front run to the my maximum potential. That egg was in the worst spot. Holy! You know what? The Birdo's not that far ahead of me. Maybe this is fine. Shock's probably not coming soon because the blue shell is just about to hit, but we have to get rid of this and then chain this. Okay, three coins. This is rough. I need to get rid of all these. I need to get rid of it before the item set. I can probably still get mushrooms here. Just, just one mushroom and that's all I need. Don't hit the egg again. Get rid of this. Oh, come on. Come on. Go away quicker. Quicker. <laughs> that was so sad. That was such a sad item pull. I lost to the Birdo. Ugh. I lost VR too. Dang it. BB is better than me. I forgot to switch off the Diddy Buggy. It's okay. This track is, is still good for this combo, but on the next one, probably we'll switch off. Okay, the bumps. The bumps are brutal right now. All right, it's fine. We're still in fourth. This still counts as running, right? I think. <laughs> Let's go for double item box. Wow, wow. I'm just not good today is, is what I'm learning. But I don't know. I was doing really well at the start. I'm All these bumps, not going for that shortcut. That shortcut's tiny. Not worth it if you think the bumps are going to destroy you. Yeah, the, the shortcuts on this track are all quite risky. 
um, if there's people really close to you, especially because it's like anti-gravity bumps and they can bump you way harder. But this, I don't know, kind of a bagging track. I mean, like, low-key bagging. Oh, wait, I'm in first. See, the shortcuts are huge. And this shortcut's also huge, right here, that I had to skip because I ran out of mushrooms. Um, but yeah, the way that I use two mushrooms on that particular shortcut plus item set is really good. Um, because you can take two shortcuts and uh, get an item out of it. So I'm just going to hold these. I could get blue shell protection, but the blue shell already came. So there's actually a pretty good chance, not a great chance, but a decent enough chance that no blue shell comes for the rest of this race. So the fact that I have three red shell protection, even if, if, if I get booed, I have another one. But I cannot fall back at all because that's where everyone can hit me. And that is not acceptable. And if they hit me, I could lose these triple greens. Like if someone super horns me, or, or fireballs me, or boomerangs, they, they could break my entire fortress here. There's a blue shell. That sucks. Okay, so we're gonna try and take out second place like that. Yes, got him, got him. Okay, so the blue shell was gonna break my green shells. So uh, anytime you have a trail item or a revolving item, the, the blue shell will destroy it. So I had to do that. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bomb the beginning of the shortcut. Masterclass front running. That's how you front run on a bagging track with a blue shell coming to you. You stop people from approaching. Wait, I don't see the Birdo. Is that the Birdo in last? I am better than the Birdo! <laughs> this is so funny. When there's no Wave 6 tracks available, everyone picks random now. I am on P-Jet Cat Cruiser, and the reason is all stats. <laughs> P-Jet's tied with Yoshi for stats, best character. And why am I using the Teddy Buggy if it just got nerfed? Ooh. I can't remember if the Cat Cruiser also got nerfed, but the Teddy Buggy definitely had its invincibility nerfed, which is such a big deal. Wink, wink, it's not a big deal. People have asked, like, why do people use the Teddy Buggy if it just got nerfed? Like, wouldn't it make sense not to anymore? And I think part of it is like, I'm not gonna tell you the answer, but just picture in your mind for a moment the average Mario Kart player, and then ask yourself, are they gonna use the Cat Cruiser? And then ask yourself, would they use Pichet? And the answer is absolutely yes. And if you if you don't know why, I challenge you to try using Pichet on a bike. And that should about answer your question and tell you a lot about society. Anyway, um, I'm still front running here. Uh, I don't get to take the big chocolate shortcut there because I don't have mushrooms because I'm not bagging, but it's not big enough to warrant bagging on this track. Like. Most tracks have shortcuts, but most tracks still are front-running tracks. Like, not necessarily like if you're in first, you're guaranteed to probably win, but it's like you're going to have a better chance in first place than you will in last place at any point in the race. So, um, yeah. If you if you see a lot of bagging content, that doesn't mean all the tracks are good for that. You're just seeing like a particular sample where uh, people do succeed by making comebacks because it's hype, right? Ask yourself why you're seeing it. It's because it's hype and it gets views. <laughs> okay, I'm getting destroyed here. But yeah, if, if you don't believe me, after this video, look at my results here versus my results in my recent bagging one. You can also look at my results in my old front running versus old bagging video. And yeah, just go take a look. For how much I like bagging, front running has always done better for me if I had to choose between the two strategies. Which you shouldn't choose, <laughs> you should learn how to do both. I am glad Nintendo has added this many front running tracks to Wave 6, um, in addition to the bagging nerf. Because I think uh, a lot of people were kind of sick of bagging in general. Here's the thing though, I don't think people actually dislike bagging as much as a lot of people think that uh, that people did. I mean, there are a lot of people who, like, they don't even really play Mario Kart, if I'm going to be honest, but they're, they're, there's going to be a lot of people who are like, bagging is evil, basically. They're not going to say those words, but that's basically how they feel about it. And uh, then there's going to be people who are like, I don't really care. Then there's going to be people that, that, that are like, well, bagging makes the game more dynamic because it makes it makes comebacks actually possible. Oh, I didn't get the boost. I have a question. What do you guys think about bagging being nerfed? Just nerfing bagging as a concept, but also the exact way that Nintendo nerfed bagging, which is by making it so that when you stay still or back into an item box, you actually get a worse item. Because you could have nerfed bagging in all sorts of different ways. And one of them, for example, is to make front running better. Um, they could have done that in many different ways, but I'm sure you guys have ideas. Anyone who, like, really wants bagging to be nerfed has probably had ideas before about how they want that done. But yeah, the reason that I say that people 
like bagging, a lot of people like bagging, is because just take a look at my at, at my views of bagging versus front running. And like even if you if you don't like that specific example, there are many examples of people bagging versus front running and just the difference in the amount of views and like discussion that that, that gets. Cause like, yeah, it's controversial, but the people who love watching Mario Kart, do you really just want to watch someone be in first place the whole time and then clap for them at the end and be like, wow, you were so good? Or do you want to watch a sick comeback, double shock dodge on Riverside Park? I, I, I think bagging had a great spot in this game. I think it was overpowered for competitive play. And uh, obviously as a competitive player, when all you want to, want to do is win, and then you realize that on some tracks or in some moments you have to stop driving in order to win, it sucks. I, uh, people have definitely quit competitive over that, and I definitely dislike the amount of bagging in, um, in, in lounge rooms where it's competitive. Okay, there's a single item box here, this kind of sucks. But, can I make up one spot? No, I was shocked right after the boost panel. If that shock hit me on the boost panel, maybe I should have backed up, and yeah, I could have gotten second place. Spoilers for Avengers Infinity War. All right, we have a Peach and three Peachettes, one Yoshi. The Yoshi's been outnumbered. First time in history, Yoshi has been outnumbered. Oh, maybe I could have tried the shortcut, but let's get into first place. I wish I knew item probabilities in rooms with fewer people, because I wonder, like, what's the... What? I'm losing first place because of that. I, I wonder what's the probability of a blue shell. If you get a mushroom at the start, you often do want to just, just mushroom into first place, because, um... Okay, I was in first, I didn't even realize that. Uh, and the reason you want to do that is because it gets you away from the chaos, where all the attack items are. And so, that one mushroom, even though it doesn't get you that much further ahead, and you could use it at a more strategic spot, it could probably help you gain a breakaway. Okay, didn't hit anyone with that. It was a good throw, though. Someone was almost gonna get hit. I think you do two orange mini turbos here, I don't know. I always focus, I hyper focus on the shortcut when this is still a pretty front running track and honestly I should just remember that and try to go forward sometimes. That was close. Take all the coins so other people can't. I don't know, the coins respawn pretty quick though so maybe they could. Let's take a better line here, release the mini turbo. Okay, we're, we're, we're going left. Stop throwing at me. Why? Oh, I stopped way too early. I was, I was trying to have the boost panel speed me back up. Okay, so we're in third place now because second place was the meanest ever. And honestly, second place might have been that that Peachette close to me. And they just ruined their own race by doing that. That was also really close. Okay, I don't think you're supposed to take the half pipe up here, but I've never been able to figure out a line where I don't. And you probably, this is probably better than a trick to charge an orange mini turbo right there. I'm gonna save this mushroom. This mushroom is gonna be great right at the item boxes because it gets me all my traction back and I can take a really good line there. I only got a single item. Mushroom! I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. <laughs> Off-road. No, I barely messed that up. Ugh. I wish I got this track in the bagging video. <laughs> But alas, we are front running this track. Look at the minimap. This is what high level rooms look like sometimes, and that's just ridiculous. Like, I understand that it's a good strategy, but I also understand why someone would look at that and be like, wow, that's that's kind of dumb. Which it is, right? I've never said bagging it do doesn't look stupid. It does look really stupid. Um, but it is a real strategy that is often better and takes a lot more skill than people think. I'm not denying that it can look stupid, but there are definitely positives and negatives to bagging, which is why, like, a lot of people were surprised that I actually liked that they nerfed it. I like that they nerfed it. <laughs> I, with bagging in the game, that's one thing, but if I were to design the game, I would not make bagging this strong, um, especially on a track like this. This track has so many shortcuts. I'm in second, maybe first the whole time, depending on if this person trails me. Um, but yeah, uh, I am going to try and take this shortcut and get ahead. First place, yes. Pointless though, because, yep. Thank you. T take the blue shell for me. <laughs> okay, they could try to snipe me, so I'm just gonna move out of the way. They probably won't, but they could try. Okay, well that sucks. 
That's actually really good. That's actually awesome. Did they both get hit? <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute! Oh. No! Was that even going for me? You know what? A race like this really shows why people actually love bagging. Would you rather see a pretty good race where I get destroyed at the end, or would you rather see a race where I make a giant comeback? Because I could have done that this race. I didn't have to play like this. Okay, I've switched to more speed. This is not necessarily going to help me front run, but I don't know. Uh, this is just a great combo for Funky Kong as well. The Teddy Buggy instead of the Mr. Scooty. Oh no! Okay. So much for front running. See, like that's the thing. You can never guarantee that you front run. You you can you can guarantee that you try, but at this point, like I'm never getting back into the front unless I do some bagging stuff. So I'm not going to go full on bagging, but I am going to uh, do all the bagging concepts, like get my coins up and save items for shortcuts. If you always front run and never bag, you don't really get to practice all the shortcuts and all that stuff very often. Which is why I feel like even if you don't like bagging, learning how to do it can really help. Boomerang- multiple boomerangs next to me. This could be undodgeable. So I'm saving my mushrooms just in case it hits me. Okay. Oh, bad handling. Well, I'm in first place. The first place is triple mushrooms, double boomerang coming at me. Get me away! <laughs> okay, I guess I can commence the front running now. Oh, I don't know if I should- Yeah, that boomerang can't reach me. I'm so glad I used a mushroom earlier. I, I'll just save this. Oh, what? It still reached me. Okay. <gasps> Are you serious? That happens? I never take the bottom path. Look at me. Look at me. Oh. <sighs> oh, I've never... Okay, now I know. It had to happen once. It happened in a video. So staying in the video. <laughs> okay, now I need a good item. Because this is... Oh, that's so unfortunate. Okay, so we're gonna... We're gonna take this shortcut. A little sharper this time. Okay, any, any items near me? Not really. I can save these mushrooms then. There's a bomb. There was a bomb over there too. Oh, this is so scary. I really want to save this mushroom though. If I can take the ending shortcut, that would be sick. Second! JD <gasps> Kong on the wood tires? That's pretty fitting, honestly. I don't know about the pipe frame though. Is there any wooden vehicle? Maybe one of the vehicles is made of wood, but I don't think there's any like wooden themed vehicles. I may be forgetting some though. Okay, that banana just flew. Let's get these coins. Let's see if I can take this shortcut. Nope, 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 I'm hitting the barrel. <laughs> Ugh. Changing combo every time is rough. <laughs> Although, I think... I don't, I, I don't know. I probably would have messed that one up anyway. Okay, okay, we're taking this path. A little shortcut, kind of. Purple mini turbo. Okay, I have to take the bad version of the shortcut now. Okay, it was not, it's not too bad. A little shortcut action. Oh, I didn't get the orange mini turbo. I'm not sure if it's faster if you don't get the orange mini turbo. I'm gonna slow down here because they have triple greens. Oh, that almost hit me, but I had to take the shortcut. Out of the out of here, out of here. Not dealing with them anymore. I have a blooper, excuse me. Okay, well it's I might as well hold it, right? It'll protect against booze stealing my mushroom, which is way more important. A blooper, I treat a blooper like a coin. I mean, you can target blooper somebody on a spot where they really don't want to get bloopered. Like, um, I don't know, very, a, a section where you have to take a tight turn. Like the gap cut here. Um, in general, it doesn't do all that much. Okay, I got a blue mini turbo again. That sucks. Also, I've never figured out how to take this rocket with a mushroom. I don't know if there's a way you can do it where it's actually faster. Red shell, don't trail me. I'm slowing down. Throw it, get rid of it. Get rid of it. Whatever, I'm gonna pass you now. Okay, okay, nice. <laughs> they got hit by something. 
Okay, I usually try to do an orange mini turbo there, but let's do this. This might be better because then it means I'm gonna get all three tricks right here. I often miss the third trick right there because I'm busy doing something fancy at the start that isn't worth it. <laughs> oh, this feels great. This combo feels awesome on this track because I can get all the mini turbos. Okay, I'm not gonna risk this shortcut. I don't think I'm confident enough at it. Okay, got a slight lead. I'm gonna trail this. I don't see a red shell. Oh, two protection, very nice. This section's very difficult. Someone could pass me with a mushroom. Yep, there we go. You, you'll be my blue shell protection. Oh, okay, I guess you can't do that. <laughs> So many bumps! Okay, they solve a mushroom, so I'm perfectly safe next to them. Oh. Still went for me. Ah, uh, I saw that way too late. That was such a misplay. Okay, well in that case... Let's do this for- oh. Nope, didn't get the shortcut, but I kind of saved it. It wasn't too bad. Okay, I have nine coins. Don't need to go around for coins. Give me this one. Oh, the wind! <laughs> Mushrooms, very nice. Person in front of me has mushrooms. I'm pretty safe right here. Did see a boomerang for a sec. Oh, that's their boomerang. Ah, people are so good at snipes sometimes. Saving this. What? I did not get the drift. And then I got the worst drift ever. It's okay. It's kind of okay. Oh, no, it's not okay. Stay to the side. <laughs> this is so scary. This track is so scary every time. Ripple greens. Let's do a snipe that they did to me earlier. Yes! Haha, <laughs> take that. <laughs> that felt great. Oh, I got second! King Boo Teddy Buggy! Did they just switch to this? They must have known. Well, you know what? Goodbye, Phaser. I am going to bag because we already got Ribbon Road earlier and it wouldn't be a full discussion about front running without also showing it in comparison to bagging on the same tracks. All right, so on this track, I'm gonna go for coins first, but I'm gonna show off these shortcuts later because I did talk about how many shortcuts there are and how I used those to make the comeback even when I was trying to front run. But now I can just intentionally stay safe the whole race and then use those to make a comeback near the end. And like, for how tech heavy this track is, you'd think it's more of a front running track, but there are also just shortcuts for no reason. Okay, I didn't get an item. Uh, but I'm more focused on the coins right now. The items aren't too important. Like, you do still want to go for items early so that if you get a really good combination, you can just hold them for a while and use it when you want to make the comeback. Wow. Okay, I think there's a Piranha Plant right next to me. This is oh, out of the way. Go over here, take an anti-shortcut. All right, I'm at 10 coins though. So, oh, so it's a good time to make this comeback. I couldn't get the double item box. That one can be tough sometimes if you're improvising a line. Okay, well, this just sucks. Let's toss that early. I'm all over the place. Okay, it's comeback time now. I just slow down a bit because I didn't get the box. What are these items? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. If you get triple mushrooms, you use one there, then you use one here, and you chain the third one into this box as you take the final shortcut. That was close. Mushroom, nice. No! I was going to take the shortcut, but then the boo stole my greens as I was trying to throw it. Wow. Oh, that's gonna bite me. It didn't, it didn't somehow but I got too scared from taking, I just didn't take this final shortcut all three laps. It's kind of funny. Mushroom, please. Nope, uh, King Boo's too far ahead. Actually, they might not have been. It's okay, this is fine. Okay, I mean, I got first when I front ran, I got second when I bagged. I guess that means front running is better. 